Hi all, Elliot J here with Conquer Statistics. So today what I'm going to show you how to do is how to find the 95% confidence interval using Excel 2016. So the first thing you need to do is find the descriptive statistics. So if you don't already have the add-ins, click on File. Once you click on File, hit Options. From Options, click on Add-ins. And then go all the way down to where it says Manage. With Manage, make sure it says Excel Add-ins and click Go. Make sure you have both the analysis tool pack and the solver add-in selected and then you hit OK. If you don't have it, if you're sorry, if you have it already, you can just hit X and close out. So now go to data and then this new tab, data analysis, go to descriptive statistics and hit OK. Your input range will be the numbers that you're going to use that you're looking for those descriptive statistics from. And then the output range is where you want your statistics to be posted to. So this looks like a good place to me. So I'm just going to highlight this. Make sure you have summary statistics and confidence level for the mean checked. And everything looks good. Hit OK. Now what you have here are your descriptive statistics. The two numbers you're going to need, you're going to need the mean. And you're going to need the confidence level. If you recall, the confidence interval is the area in between the mean minus the confidence level and the mean plus the confidence level. So to do that, it's really simple. I'm going to do lower and then higher. So first I'll do the mean minus the confidence level. So I'm going to hit the equal sign and then click on the mean and do the subtract sign and click on the confidence level and then hit enter. And then I'm going to do the same thing except for add them. So I'll hit equals and I'll do the mean and then I'll hit the plus sign and then I'll hit the confidence level and then hit enter again. And this range right here is the 95% confidence interval. And that's how you calculate it using Excel 2016. Thanks for watching.